What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 3, this is episode number 9. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Smash that like button if you want to see more. Thank you so much for your support on the previous episodes. And without further ado, let's dive straight back into a brand new video. We have two big fight offers here. One being Holly Holm, one being Pina. Who do we pick? Now, in the YouTube comments, it was equal. Pina got one vote, Holly Holm got one vote. Uh, on Twitter, I think Holly Holm got three votes and uh, Pina got two. So Holly Holm is, uh, of course, one up. And then on Snapchat... Pina got one, and Holly Holm actually got two. So that means Holly Holm is going to be the person we are fighting in the first fight of today's video. Obviously, the second one will be against Amanda Nunes uh, if we beat Holly Holm, I guess. I guess the next fight will be against Amanda. So, anyway, the fight is going to be Holly Holm. Uh, Lily Chow v. Holly Holm, two amazing strikers. And uh, it looks like Lily Chow is actually a better grappler, which is it doesn't really... Um, say much for Holly Holmes' grappling skills. This is going to be a stand-up war. I can't wait to get in there and mix it up with Holly Holmes. She's one of the best strikers in women's MMA today. Knocking out the likes of Ronda Rousey with a brutal head kick and then uh, finishing her on the ground. This is going to be a tough battle, but I think Lily Chow, she's been through wars before. That last fight, before this fight now, uh, was an absolute... It was just a battle back and forth. Lily Chow was smashing her on her feet, but um, yeah... Uh, I don't even remember who it was, but she was getting us to the floor and absolutely fucking us up. Dana White said there is going to be a good one, so you know when Dana says, when the boss says it's going to be a good fight, it must be a good one. Let's do a radio interview to kick things off, get that hype starting. Okay, we do need to train though, we need to make sure we are ready uh, for Holly Holm. She is no joke, and she could possibly be Lily Chow's first loss in career mode. That will be such a big upset, hopefully that's not going to happen. Now, uh, we can't learn anything, we can't spar, so maybe I'll just spend all these points on promotional stuff. Uh, let's go for some of that, get that fight hype up. We know people are tuning in to see Lily Chow. No one wants to see Holly Home anymore, she's past it. Uh, I don't even know if she's past it, but uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so spinning heel kick, whoa, that would be kind of nice. Uh, body crane kick, counter puncher, whoa, there's a lot of stuff here, okay. Okay, let's see what else they got. Uppercut level four, ooh. Lead hook wouldn't be too bad either. Um, okay, this is all submission stuff. What else have we got? Suplex. Hook kick. Lead jumping roundhouse. Oh. Crazy legs. Oh, Paige Van Zandt. We could be sparring against her. Boxing combos would be kind of nice. Free strike combos. Um, knock down your training partner with a head kick. And we get all of that. Dude, that's pretty good. Boxing combos. Superman punch. And Body Snatcher. Let's go for this. I think we can land a free punch combo. But we got to land five of them. And it's just how long do we get? I think maybe... Okay, five minutes. Okay, there we go. Beautiful hands. Dude, is she going to throw? Let's get it again. Okay, come here, bitch. Nice combination. Just the Let's same combination. And search for that knockdown. Okay. Let's follow that with one more shot. There we go, that, that one seems combo. to be working. There you go. We'll, we'll use that. <laughs> Why not? Okay, we did get it there, I believe. Boxing combo, Superman jab, and a lead body roundhouse. They're all going to be good. Let's uh, let's apply all of that. Legit every piece of that. Um, okay. So we got a new uh, we got a new punch. Where does where's the punch? Okay. Superman jab. Let's have a look at that. Boom, right in your face. Level five as well. That's pretty good. We got a lead body roundhouse and a level four. That is going to really hurt someone. And we got some boxing combinations now. We have traditional combos, we have kickboxing level 2, but we also have boxing level 3. Now, what does this mean? Oh. Okay. Straight, hook, body straight. Oh, I like, I like this. Straight, uppercut, body hook. I like these. What else do we get? Body jab, uppercut, lead, or left hook, sorry. Jab, lead hook, uppercut. I like these combos. They're pretty good. I like that one. Okay, right. So what's it say? It said something there. Moves marked in red will not be assigned to your fighter. Okay, okay. So we have some boxing combinations. We have some kickboxing stuff as well. Let's have a look who we got. Combo five. Straight and a kick. Oh, dude, that looks brutal. Okay. Okay, traditional combos. What have we got here? Okay, none apparently. Okay then. Okay, right. So we're gonna we've been spending way too much time on this training, trying to apply everything. 
making sure everything is all good. But there we go, we learnt some new stuff. We got to think this up a little bit as well, but we did spend some points. Now we've got to go in there and spar. Sparring against Paige Van Zandt, that was like eating a quick little bit of KFC before you get onto like the main, the main thing. It's like eating the chips before the chicken. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's get in here and spar. <laughs> Okay, Holly Holm is a beast though. If we get kicked in the head, I know Lily Chow is subtle to hitting them head kicks. Like, if we get hit with one of them head kicks from Holly Holm, we're going to feel it, man. Okay, we got a Superman jab, I believe. I just don't know how to use it. Alright, we're thrown wild and careless. Like that. Ow, that fucking hurt. What have you got to be a dickhead for, man? Oh, I tried the head kick, man. Come on. Okay, 84 moderate fitness, not bad. We are getting fucked up. Can't even land a punch, let alone a kick. That combo really does work. There we go. I'm trying to bait her in for a kick. Ow, I got baited. There we go. I don't want to throw it all the way now, dude. I'm getting lit up by this sparring partner, though. There we fucking go. Eat that, you fuck. Okay. Oh, dude. She's just running the whole time, man. Tried to throw an awesome straight there. That would have rocked her. But there you go. Okay, head kick knockouts are all over social media. Let's not be at the end of this one. This fighter has a history of head kick knockouts. She really does. I don't want to mess with that at all. But we are fit and ready for this fight already. We can really focus on upping our stats, promoting the fight, getting a little bit more dough from this fight. That is why I want a little bit more money, a little bit more moolah. And, uh, yeah, should be all good. Let's hand out some flyers. No, let's do some streaming. Let's do some streaming. What else can we do? Post about our new moves? Oh. Okay. Should we see if we can learn anything else? If there's anything else worth learning. Elbow level four. Ooh. Body uppercut. Boxing combos. Uh, I really I would like this one. Elbow level four would be nice. What else have we got? Yeah, let's go for that. Elbow level 4 would be pretty good. Let's go. Hopefully this doesn't take away too much uh, of our stamina. Now we're working on punch let's go. I want you to land at a high percentage. No! Okay, let's go. Okay. That's it. Get back in there. Dude, there I'm going to fuck you up. She's not even blocking, man. That's it. Precision. Dude. You should really block, Chris. Is she Beautiful. not going down? Man. Beautiful work. Absolutely just rocking her. What the shit was that? Okay. Okay, we learnt some new moves. We learnt an elbow, some straights, and a lead body uppercut. I like applying new moves. It really adds depth to the fighter as well. Level 5 straight, though. That is really going to do some damage. Jeez. Okay. All right. We did get an elbow as well. Lead body uppercut. Why not? We don't really throw the uppercuts to the body too much. As we can see there, level 4 elbow. That is really going to hurt if we get in close quarters. But there you go. Level 4 elbow has been added, so is the uppercut, and so is the straight. The straight should really be used the most, I believe. We're sparring Chris Cyborg, though. We did knock her out in a few episodes ago. If you guys haven't seen all the previous episodes or all the previous career modes, I highly recommend them. They are so cool. Anyway, uh, let's let's just do all this. Let's keep promoting until it is time to fight. We are ready. We are fit, and uh, we want to go and crush some heads. Okay, we've got another thing here. A conference call. Okay. Um... John Ank podcast, pretty good. We still have two weeks worth of training, so this will definitely be a very high fight hype, I guarantee. UFC magazine, there we go. Um, let's just do a post to social media, I guess. Nearly two million followers. Let's go, and as we can see, the hang gang. I can't speak. Hey gang, bet on me in my next fight. I'm trained to beat everyone. Now, if we do beat Holly Holm, we are definitely in the running for a title shot against the Amanda Nunes, so we really need to put on the show here. Fingers crossed we can do that. Attend a UFC event. Let's go. Okay. Going to tonight's UFC event. Got to scope out my competition. Dude, there's no competition. Lily Chow will destroy everybody. And you guys know that. You guys know that. Yeah, I highly recommend though. You guys go and check out all the previous career modes I did. They are so cool and so much fun. Uh, yeah, everyone's been a champion so far. But um, it's kind of hard to hold the belt. Especially when you're fighting like bigger and better talent. But I guess so far so good. We've done pretty good. Uh, we are 20 and 0 as well, so we haven't lost a fight yet. And that hype should be very high, and it is definitely. Okay, Holly Holm v Lily Chow. We are on the undercard of Johnson v Reese. 
Let's go. Let's just throw down. I'm hoping for a first round finish. Are we going to get it? Probably not. Uh, I want to be patient with Holly Holm. I don't want to uh, sit away. I want to really pressure her just because she throws kicks. And obviously, if we're close to her, she won't be able to throw as many kicks because the, you need distance for kicks, uh, which should turn things into a boxing match. Uh, so I think that is a good tactic going into this fight. I think that is going to help us in terms of winning. But Lily Chow has got some kicks of her own, dude. Like, don't forget, I want to get her close and maybe drop the elbow and uh, hopefully do some cuts and stuff like that. But... Yeah, we're going to see how this fight turns out. I just don't want to be at range, really, because she will throw that kick and probably knock us out. So, let's go. Lily Chow, Holly Holm, the fight you guys wanted to see the most. Let's get in there. One of the best strikers be one of the best strikers. Respect. Mad respect. And already. Already. Are you serious? <laughs> Jesus, man. Okay. We can't be at range, dude. She's going to smoke us. Walk through all the kicks. Just walk through it. Walk through it, Chow. Okay, there we go. Oh, good head movement by Chow. Still managing to catch one. I've just got to stay on her. She's staying away very nicely, though. Got to land a body kick. Good straight. I don't want to be at range, dude. I'm not eating any kicks, man. Fuck that. Tried the overhand. Holly Home blocked it. Leg kick. If I can chop down them legs, she might not throw many kicks. I'm trying to just walk through the punches, though. Okay, let's go. Oh, shit. Okay. Good uppercut. Oh, hook. Keep the pressure. Okay. My palms are sweaty. Oh, I thought the kick was coming. Oh, dude. We're getting drilled here. Oh, kick of my own. Good body kick. That one looked like it hurt, man. You see how Wince in pain? Jeez. Okay, there's kicks galore out here, man. Oh, she's quick. She's out striking Lily Chow. I don't want to be at range, though. I want to back her up. I'm going to stick the jab in her face. Good straight. She's moving really well. Okay. Lily Chow just not with it so far. Holly Holm looking. It's all Holly Holm at the minute. She got the knockdown as well. I can't even catch her, man. Okay. Okay. okay there we go. I'm just going to have to block the kick. Coming after like that. She's moving her head really well. Shit. Ow. Fucking bitch. Get off me. There we go. Okay, dude. What am I doing? Tried to land the elbow. Good leg kick for Holly Holm. Tried the head kick. It was blocked. Elbow lands. I'm not laying down in this fight, but I'm not fighting the way I should be. That makes sense. Overhand lands. She looked like she was wobbled. Lily Chow has no stamina, though. Not good. Not good for the start of this fight. Whipping in some leg kicks there. Nice. I want to brawl with her, but she's staying really calm and cool on the outside. We're getting picked off here, man. Damn. Hey, come in. Oh, shit. Oh, she's out. Holly Holm finishes Leslie Chow. Oh, my God. Holly Holm has destroyed Leslie Chow in the end of round one with a brutal head kick. We got caught. We went down. I said it was going to happen, and it fucking did. Damn it. Lily Chow loses to Holly Holm. Jeez, man. That was a, not an easy fight. That was so difficult. But there we go. Holly Holm has defeated what could have been the strongest fighter in this division. That is such a shock. That was a really big upset. Hey, everyone. I'm Megan Olivi, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It's starting to become a welcomed habit for UFC fans. See the name of this fighter on the card, and excitement will always follow. If you need proof, it's right there on the record of this women's bantamweight, as she has won several performance of the night bonuses since she made her octagon debut. How did we win that last one? That's it for today. Stay tuned. Damn. Okay, so we broke a record and we got a jaw broke as well. Pretty good night for Lily Chow. We got absolutely destroyed in that fight. Crazy knockout there by Holly Holm. 
Uh, but we established ourselves as a UFC's all-time action hero. There may be fighters with more victories and championship wins than Lily Chow, but no fighter in UFC history has more post-fight bonuses than the veteran, whose recent performance... Oh, wait, what? She is, she's not done anything. Recent performance bonus puts her at top of the ladder, uh, top of the leaderboard, and established her as one of the Octagon's premier action heroes. Dude, we just got lit up in that last fight. So sorry about tonight's loss. Okay, what's the plan? Uh, to get back in place for a title shot. Hard work. We need to dust ourselves off. A rematch against Holly Holm could be big. Could be really, really big. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's have a rematch. Every fighter's got to lose at some point. We are now 20 and one, uh, which is uh, it's kind of upsetting. I wanted to go undefeated with this uh, win this uh, career mode, but we lost that fight. Are we going to be fighting Amanda Nunes now for the title? I wonder if we've earned ourselves a title shot after that terrible performance. I don't understand. I really don't understand what we've got to do. Are you serious? We're fighting Amanda Nunes. We just got smoked by Holly Holm. Surely Holly Holm is in the running for a title shot. I'm not going to complain though. Seeing that we are already 15 minutes into the uh, video, I'm going to cut out all the training for this and we're going to get in there and throw down with Amanda Nunes. We are going to try our hardest to win the Bantamweight title. Fingers crossed we can do it. Smash that like button if you haven't already guys and I'll see you in a minute when it is time to throw down with one of the best strikers as well in the division. We just fought one of the best and got absolutely knocked out. Can we get back in there? I wonder. Okay, so here we go. Amanda Nunes v Lily Chow. She has somehow managed to wiggle her way into a title shot. I don't know how. She got absolutely smoked in the last fight, but here we go. She has hit the big time, apparently. According to Catherine Rex, we are fighting for the World Bantamweight Championship against one of the best strikers in the division. Can Lily Chow redeem herself after that terrible knockout loss? to Holly Holm. I think she can. We're going to go in the grey shorts because why the hell not. Lily Chow has fought everyone in this division and almost beat everyone as well. She beat Chris Cyborg. She beat Ronda Rousey. She's beat some of the biggest names in this division and now she has earned the title shot. I mean, it's kind of controversial. She's coming off a loss for the championship. Can she do it? A lot of people were saying, I think uh, Merciless Chow gets the win tonight. Hashtag easy money. Oh, I don't know. Amanda Nunes is a bit of a beast. She beat Valentina Shevchenko relatively. I think it was a close fight. But um, yeah, she uh, we beat Rel Valentina relatively easy. So I'm hoping we can beat her relatively easy. Here we go though. Amanda Fighters Nunes. Lily Chow. Different reasons. Some do it for the fame. Others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts no. forever. There's the square off. Amanda Nunes v Lily Chow. And new. We are going for UFC gold. Just are we going to get right, it? I have no idea. Event. After that last the fight, UFC anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. I have high hopes that Lily Chow will go in here, throw down, and hopefully win the belt. Okay, let's go. He's getting off to a good start with a leg kick. Kind of revealing the game plan early on. So she's blocking every kick we throw. She got that one though. Good straight there, land. She was going to throw a kick. We're going to stay calm. We're going to stay cool and collected. No windmill shit. We're just going to try and box her. Good head kick by Amanda Nunes. She's staying on the outside. Trying to do what Holly Holm did. Will it work? We have to wait and see. Them straights are really damaging though. Level 5 straights, taking away half of her head health with one strike. We are just outworking Amanda at the minute. And leg kicks are starting to take their toll already. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Good leg kick there, Amanda Nunes getting started. Okay, Lily Chow though. Hurt her leg. Damn. Good exchange there. Okay. Not a bad start. She doesn't want to get close to the beast, though. When she does, the elbows happen. 
the elbows on one of my new favourite weapons, I think. Using it there. Oh, she blocked that one, damn it. Getting close. This is a grudge match, man. Lily Chow stalking. Tried the body kick, missed. Oh, good leg kick, though. Uppercut clips Amanda. This is a good competitive fight. I think Lily Chow is getting the better of her. Both exchanging with a body kick there. Amanda tries to go up top. Lily Chow misses as well. Not very accurate so far. Oh, dude. Okay. She's out scoring. Okay. We've, we've got that all day. Oh, I thought she was going to come in. Trying to bait her in. Here we go. Jab straight. That jab straight really starting to mix up well. Good elbow. Okay. Trying to get her in. There we go. Good body strike. Oh, she's rocked. And she's down. She's down. Lily Chow puts her on the floor. This is a good start. Also means Lily Chow will win this round if it goes and stays how it is now. No more punches were thrown. Lily Chow would win. If it on this round anyway. Okay, there we go. Stuff that takedown. Let's get straight back up to our feet. This is where we're winning the fight. Tried the body strike. Did not land. Oh. Tried the elbow. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Oh, we ate a good hook there. Amanda Nunes getting in her stride. Is Lily Chow too much for her, though? Good straight. Lily Chow rocks her. Starting to butcher the body a little bit. Okay. That straight is doing some major damage. I don't know if she's going to make it out of this round, guys. Okay, there we go. Round one. Definitely Lily Chow's round. Dominating the champion. Good jab straight there. Wobbling Amanda Nunes. I don't know. I don't know. I think so far, so good. We're winning the rounds. We're winning the fight so far. Is it going to stay that way? We'll have to find out. Okay. Trying to bait her in with some wild ass kicks. Not happening. Okay, she's starting to outscore us a little bit. Oh, that's straight. She cannot handle that straight punch. Overhand. Elbow misses. Liddy Chow just getting started, really. If we're going off stamina, Lily Chow looks a lot better. Oh my god, great uppercut. Elbow drops her. There we go. Lily Chow telling her to get up though. Wants more. I think she needs to redeem herself after that last performance. Another elbow blocked by Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes getting busted up. Dropped again by straight. Lily Chow going back to her destroying ways. Just absolutely dominating her opposition. And what bigger fight to do it in than the title fight? Okay, we are going down to the ground. That's okay, though. I have faith in Lily. Lily's got straight back up, man. There we go. She cannot take this straight right hand. There we go again with the straight. And an elbow. Lily Chow's seen enough. She's putting an end to the fight. And is the new bantamweight champion. There we go. Amazing. Dominating performance over one of the best strikers in the division. Where's Holly home? If we could call fighters out in this game, I'd be straight on that microphone saying, Holly, let's get it. Let's run it back. But there we go. Beautiful straight. Absolutely nearly knocking her unconscious. Lily Chow diving on top and securing that victory there. Crazy elbow. It looked like a straight from the uh, other angle. And, that is the and then finishing the her there. She's Let's all busted up and broken. Lily Chow is your new bantamweight champion. There we go. Amanda Nunes, that was a good fight. was a good fight, but she's not on Lily Chow's level. The only person that really challenges Lily Chow is Holly Holm. We can't wait to throw down with her. That is probably going to be in the next video, though. I do think they will offer her the, the fight, I think. We're going to find out. What is this? Hey Megan Alevi, Megan what do you Levy, got? And it's time for your UFC Minute. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this past weekend in the main event. Last weekend in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, it was, oh, a, was in a hometown for the mixed martial artist. I think it's a hometown. Has captured the imagination of fans around the globe as she fought the fight of her life when it mattered the most. When the dust oh, look at that. Buffer said and knew. Oh, yeah. She was crowned UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World thanks to a memorable referee stoppage. That's okay, there we go. For your next okay, Megan, we've heard enough out of you, damn it. Okay, so I think Rio de Janeiro is Amanda Nunes' hometown, which makes it even more special 
Chow has defeated Nunez to win the UFC bantamweight crown. The champ is here. Those were the words from Lily Chow moments after she defeated Amanda Nunez on Saturday night to win the UFC bantamweight championship. It was a long, hard road for Lily Chow, but to get to this point... Oh, wait. For, for Lily Chow to get to this point. But once the octagon door was closed, she showed skills and determination that led her to the top of the 135-pound weight class. Now the challenge for Chow will be to defend her title against a host of hungry challengers eager to take it from her. And one of them challenges is one we've met before. I definitely think we are going to be meeting Holly Holm again after that knockout. It makes sense. It's the fight I think most people would want to see in the next video uh, just because she beat us in that last fight. But there we go. We are now a superstar, which is pretty amazing. Joanna Dreschek, what? Hey, Merciless Chow, I'm coming for you. Uh, okay, let's go. That's the next challenge. I guess that's like a super fight. I know Dreschek is the champion in the strawweight women's uh, weight class, but... What happens now? Are we going to fight Holly Holm again? I think that's the fight I want the most. Let's go. Please give it to us, Dana. Come on, man. I want Holly. Let's go. Who are they going to give us? I usually let you guys vote uh, when like the opportunities come up. Oh, we got to fight Chris Cyborg again. Damn it, man. I wanted Holly Holm. Okay, so Chris Cyborg is the next fight for this video. Or for the... um. For the next video, Holly Holm is ranked number one. She makes sense. She beat us uh, in the last fight uh, before the title shot, and uh, she's ranked number one. It kind of makes sense to make her, but we have fought Holly Holm. We've beat Amanda Nunes. We've beat Kat Zingano. I think we beat Leslie Smith. We've beat uh, Ronda Rousey. We haven't fought Pina. We've beat Chris Cyborg, and we've beat Jermaine, Dema uh, Jermaine Durandame. I can't speak, but yeah, we've beat a lot of this uh, weight class, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you for more EA Sports UFC 3 next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have an awesome day, and I will see you all again in the next video.